Rick Rubin, a true living legend among the music producers who cooperate with legendary bands and produced albums with an artists like Beastie Boys, Slayer, Public Enemy, Mick Jagger, Johnny Cash, ACDC, System of Down, Range Against the Machine, Aerosmith, Jay-Z, Limbiskit, Slipknot, Justin Timberlake, One hour later. U2, Linkin Park, Metallica, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Adele, ZZ Top, Lana Del Rey, Black Sabbath, Kanye West, Eminem, Lady Gaga, Ed Sheeran, Wu-Tang Clan, Neil Young, Santana or Imagine Dragons. So, today we are talking about the book which he wrote and released this year. Today we are talking about the creative act, a way of being. It could be said that the book is exceptional because it captures Rick's lifelong experiences into the one coherent work. The entire book has 78 chapters with 400 pages and thanks to the quick math we find out that the average chapter is only 5 pages long and at the end of almost every chapter there is a quote from Rick that sums up its main idea. In the book, Rick presents the basic principles that every artist should know and describes the creative process as such, therefore this content can be applied for any art form. The chapters have deep thoughts and thanks to the fact that they are so short, it is always possible to stop and think about what Rick wanted to say. The book discusses ideas such as Art which is created in flow or during creative moment of enlightenment is often viewed as something more valuable, but Rick and many other artists refute this myth with the fact that art can be equally good even when the author is bored, feel bad and doesn't surf on the wave of great inner inspiration. In the book, Rick looks at the art in the bigger picture which I really appreciated. Rick believes that the creativity is absolutely natural for us and at the same time it is an inevitable process of changing everything in our universe. So the creative act from the title is probably referring to way of how universe is set up and how we live in it. Some chapters were amazing and I could relate to them very easily thanks to the fact that they described what I am experiencing when I am making music and playing instruments. What can I say? Rick knows what he is talking about and he dedicated his whole life to the music and the art. On the other hand, the book also had some chapters that didn't mean much to me, but as Rick writes in the introduction, take from this book what resonates with you and gives you meaning. This is the basis of creative work and also his suggestion how you can read this book. The book isn't just about theoretical knowledge, but it gives an excellent practical advices for an artist on how to overcome a crisis during their creation process or how to move forward without stagnation. Rick tries to show how to deal with an anxiety and difficult moments during the process and learn to work with them so they can be transformed into the something productive. I also absolutely love these small thoughts often used at the end of the chapters, which sums up the core of them. Right from the start of the book, the first one resonated with me strongly, and overall it can be said that thanks to the ideas and the atypical arrangement of the chapters, the book as such is a work of art. It contains the topics like clear mind, life in the present moment, or the importance of nature and the constant change. These themes are included in stoicism, positive psychology, mindfulness or meditation practices, so thanks to this book has a broad implications for various topics and looks at creativity from the broad holistic perspective. I should also say that like any great art, this book is subjective, emotional and based on the personal experience. Therefore there is no need to look for too many factual arguments in it and for more scientifically based people it can have a quite esoterical feel. Rick talks about a certain channeling to the source from which we take inspiration and come up with ideas which we are able to do thanks to the fact that we are living human beings. Therefore, it would be interesting to talk with him about artificial intelligence and its capabilities to make art in the recent years.
From the thoughts that the book contains, I think one of the most important chapter is about the habits and discipline, which is an area where many artists have a problem and they think that it is in contrast to their free nature, but every freethinker who wants to create art needs to acquire sufficient discipline to create a habit on the basis on which art can be created. Book emphasizes that you should follow your excitement and passion and not only do something because you think you will gain something from it or that it will have success among the people. Thanks to this, the book clarifies the motivations why art should be made and what are the good or bad motivations for its creation. Thanks to the fact that everything changes with the time and a person will never experience the same circumstances under the same conditions, your favorite artist can release again something similar to that great album from many years ago, because that time has already passed and this work cannot be recreated. Now, the artist can only create something else and that's something that many fans can't understand because they don't know how the creative process goes. It can be said that a song is a certain capsule that preserves a specific place in a time together with the emotion that a person had while doing it, which unfortunately cannot be repeated. Music, as well as the writing, is a wonderful form of art that can overcome an enormous amount of time and space. Thanks to this, even after hundreds of years, a book or a song can resonate with the viewer, convey a valuable thoughts or a specific emotion. That's why I see extremely beneficial that Rick wrote this great book, which is like a guidance on your path through the creative process. When Rick said in one of his interviews that when his house was on fire and he was suffocating on the floor of his room, he lost consciousness with a satisfied feeling that everything's important, what he wanted to say was captured in this book. At the first moment, I thought that he was exaggerating. After all, he went to these interviews to advertise his new book, but after reading it, I am willing to believe what he said because this book contains really great fundamental ideas. Overall, the book is a must read for every musician or creator of any kind and at the same time it is an interesting peek into the world of artists, even for a person who has nothing to do with art. The book contains a deep knowledge about how to make art and live life, and it's very convenient to have all these thoughts sorted in one place, so reader can return to them at any time. So, what do you think about this book? Did you also like it and learn something from it? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, you will probably also like my other videos on this channel, so you can also try them, but anyway. If you watch video to this moment, thank you for your time and have a great day.